एवरीवन दिस इज उत्पल सिन्हा फ्रॉम द एस एस एम अकेडमी सो टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन सेटअप कस्टम फॉर जीरो फोर पेजेस सो बिफोर आई डिस्कस दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी जस्ट शो यू वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज अ कस्टम फॉर जीरो फोर पेज See here this is an example of 404 page and i'm sure you might have seen many times pages like this you could see unfortunately the page you're looking for has been removed or deleted so here is an another example of custom 404 pages from amazon i'm sure most of you might have seen it at least once in your life this kind of pages 404 pages So in this lecture I will show you how you can set up custom 404 pages and make the best use of it. And before that let me just tell you why you should use this kind of pages. Custom 404 pages because see if you don't use a custom 404 page and see normally what happens normally 404 pages are thrown and when a page does not exist in your website so what a user will do a user will just you know uh, click the back button and close the window and they will exit your website right so here what will happen it will actually increase your bounce rate and if your bounce rate is high then it will also affect your seo as well but if you use the use your you know custom 404 pages properly then there is a good chance that it will actually help you to reduce your bounce rate so even if a user reaches any page that really does not exist in your website so like if you create a beautiful custom 404 page and attach it as the you know 404 page on your website then there is a good chance that the user will click on it and you know go to any another page of your website and another thing which i want to tell you is it will also help you to maintain your reputation see nobody likes a page or nobody likes a website which says that a page does not exist nobody likes that so if you are handling it in a proper way it will actually help you to maintain your brand reputation so now let me just show you a few examples of some fantastic 404 pages so you can just have a idea and i will also attach the link of this blog in the description section of this video so here is a custom 404 page by marvel you could see Hydra is currently attacking this page right and a beautiful picture of captain america and here is an another page by uh, lego you could see this is also a very very fantastic it looks like very fantastic and attractive right so here you could see a button called start shopping so even if a user you know reaches this page there is a good chance that the user will actually click on this button and you know this start shopping button instead of existing the website right and see if i scroll down here is an another example oops you you ran out of oxygen right this is also looks like very very fantastic right now if i again if if i scroll down you could see looks like this page get got lost in the matrix and here they have attached to you know to uh, call to action button you could see so here they are giving two options home page and you know get prepared so both these buttons it will actually redirect users to another page in the same website so these are some beautiful examples of 404 pages and now let me just show you how you can actually set up a custom 404 page for your website so in this example uh, i will be uh, first of all let me just uh, show you the website which i am going to use to show you the integration process of custom 404 pages so let me just visit the particular website see 
So this is the website which I am going to use to show you the process of uh, creating custom 404 pages, right? So this is a website called reachtoknow.com and this is uh, one of the websites of uh, the SSM team. So anyway, uh, so now let me just show you, uh, now if I just search for any, uh, you know, any URL and which page is, you know, really does not exist in my website. So what it will show me, let's see. Okay. See, it's showing me like the page cannot be found. It looks like nothing was found at this location. So here, what I can do, I can actually set up a custom 404 page. So whenever, for example, if uh, let's say I have deleted one of my product pages and uh, a user, any of, uh, you know, a user has saved the URL in their browser and after deleting the web page URL, they, they are just uh, trying to visit this particular URL. So they will be getting this result. They will be getting the same screen which you are seeing in this video. Right? So it will, what will happen once uh, user visit and see like uh, the page cannot be found, they actually uh, exit my website. So here I can, what I can do, I can keep uh, my user engaged in my website using the help of the custom 404 pages. So I could see. So it shows that the page does not exist. So now what we will do, we will set up a custom 404 page and for this just uh, let me visit the back end of my WordPress dashboard. So what I will do, uh, great. So now I am on my dashboard and once you are there on your dashboard, what you have to do just uh, visit the particular section of adding a new plugin, just click on add new under plugins you will get an option to add a new plugin and just search for 404 page see so this is the plugin 404 page your smart custom 404 error page just click on install And just click on active. So you could see the plugin has been activated. So once you have activated the plugin, what you have to do, you have to just visit uh, the section to create a new custom 404 page. So just click on add new to create a new page itself and in my case and you can also use a page builder like Elementor or Divi and edit a you know beautiful uh, custom 404 page and in my case I have already created a custom 404 page and let me just show you the page which I have created. Uh, Okay, so let me just search for 404. Correct. So this is the page which I have created. Let me just uh, visit the 404 page so that I can show you how it looks like. See here. So this is a custom 404 page which I have created for uh, this website and you can also create a similar page using Elementor. So once you have the page ready, what you need to do is to uh, just visit the appearance section and under appearance, you will see uh, something like uh, 404 error page. So just click on 404 error page. And here you have an option to select the page to be displayed as 404 error page. Just click on the drop down and here you have to select the particular page which you have created as the custom 404 page for your website. 
So you could see I have selected the particular page which I have just uh, created, uh, you know, as the custom 404 page and just click on save changes. Great. And just click on test 404 error. See. So this is the 404 error page. So this is how you can actually set up a custom 404 page in your WordPress website. So that's it. That's it for this lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. I will meet you in the next one. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.